Welcome back to another video here on Stringblocks. In today's video, we're going to be going over Roblox YouTubers who are banned from the Roblox Metaverse. So, we hope you're excited for this video, and if you are, make sure to slap the like button on this video, and possibly even comment. But before we start, we ask for you to click that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications. We post content just like this very video, and it would be a shame if you missed out on any of it. Anyways, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. It might actually shock you. So, who is on the list? First up, we got Poke. Poke was in a Roblox game and suddenly started exploiting in the game, and with that, the metaverse jumped to ban him, which he deserved. But before we go on to with what the rest of the list is, let's talk about what the metaverse is, because it is new. If you have to ask what exactly the metaverse is, don't feel bad. The metaverse is hardly a brand new concept, but the speed with which it recently began making headlines is impressive. And the meaning of metaverse seems to expand daily as more and more recognizable brands and businesses begin to incorporate it into their long-term plans. While everyone from celebrities to global brands like Nike have gotten involved, Facebook is responsible for setting the metaverse buzz in motion. The company, a pioneer in social media, in a sense the earliest version of the metaverse itself recently went through a major rebrand. Facebook is now meta, and the company has plans to make significant moves in the metaverse world in the years to come. This all begs the question, what even is the metaverse? The answer is at once a little bit complicated and something you already know without even realizing it. It's social media, the internet, video games, and online shopping all rolled into one. The term metaverse certainly got more attention in October when social media company Facebook changed its corporate name to Meta. The renaming was done, the company said, to focus its work on bringing the metaverse to life so it can help people connect, find communities, and grow businesses. The metaverse will feel like a hybrid of today's online social experiences, sometimes expanded into three dimensions or projected into the physical world, the company wrote in an October 28th announcement. It will let you share immersive experiences with other people even when you can't be together and do things together you couldn't do in the physical world. It's the next evolution in a long line of social technologies and it's ushering in a new chapter for our company. While the metaverse is still years away from being ready for everyday use, the company said in a separate blog post, parts of it are already here and even more are on the horizon. To combine virtual and augmented reality as we know them today with the internet and other technologies to help realize the full social potential of the metaverse in the future. So now the second person on our list is Mackenzie Turner. And the reason she got banned is because on one of her TikTok live streams she started talking bad on the metaverse and to them it gave them a bad look so they had no choice but to ban her. So what does this metaverse thing really mean? Is it a distraction filled with buzzwords and marketing speak that excites companies but leaves businesses, leaders, and consumers wondering what in the world it is? Or is it something that can help consumers and enterprises in their work, their lives, and in their communities? Roblox Rundown Craig Donato, chief business officer at Roblox, told Emergency Tech Brew that part of what makes Roblox successful is its bottom-up reliance on the creator community which develops all of the experiences found in-game, which can range from DJing at a party to playing a game of cops and robbers. Our job is to simply to enable creators to pursue their vision. Donato said, The good news for us is that if we have 9 to 10 million people building on our platform, that tends to work itself out. Roblox currently has over 4,000 human moderators, Donato told us, who are dedicated to policing the platform and making sure the experiences in the game don't violate the community standards. Roblox also uses machine learning algorithms to scan and review content that it finds inappropriate and also filters content by age level. For the last person on the list, we got Leah Ash, and this reason is quite weird. It was when she was in a metaverse game and she was using voice chat, it randomly banned her and she was given no specific reason. What did you think of today's video? Let us know down in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching here on Stringblocks. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, watch the two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next Roblox video. Goodbye.